Alrighty guys, welcome back to Frontier Safaris. I had a terrible night of sleep, but that's kind of how it goes when I travel. Um, I just sleep badly, no matter how comfortable the bed or anything like that. Just finished my first cup of coffee, got set up, just to kind of give you guys the lay of the land. The plan for today is to go out and get some Impala, which is also known as a Rooibok. So I, that's going to be our Afrikaans word of the day. Rooi bok. Rooi means red and buck is pretty universal. Okay, cool. So we don't take too much time when it comes to naming things, <laughs> which is cool. Anyway, so Frontier Safari is usually catered towards international hunters and we all have been heavily impacted by COVID, but obviously due to travel bans and stuff, they've also been heavily impacted by COVID. So fun fact, if you want to book your South African hunt, they're taking bookings for up to 2023 with a $1,000 deposit. So, and then you can lock in this year's prices. So that's kind of what they're doing at the moment to try and just sort of plan for the future. So I think that's a pretty good deal. So if you want to look into that, obviously their details will be below this video. I also want to give a quick shout out to everybody on our Patreon group. Look at the difference that makes Lightwise. Um, just because we have this little filmmaker kit that we have. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go have bacon and eggs, and um, then I'll see you guys out in the hunting field. One thing to note really quickly is I wanna show you guys the journey of hunting, okay? The strategic planning, the stalking, everything. The payoff for me is obviously once you take that shot. So that's something to note. So if you feel this video is a little bit talky, uh, it's hunting, that's how hunting goes. You've got to strategize, you've got to make plans, and then take it from there. Anyway, without further ado, breakfast time, and then uh, let's go get it.
I shot a nice Impala Ram this morning. Um, super weird. The first shot, I must have just clipped the front of his nose. Um, At first, most of us thought it was missed, but we sent the tracker out. He walked around there for quite some time and he was able to actually find a drop of blood. <laughs> it's not ideally how I wanted to start my morning. Um, shot a bad shot. I don't know what happened on the first shot. I think we just nicked it on the nose and closed the show minutes later. Um, but it didn't seem to be hurt. No, badly. it wasn't badly, no. Might have just got a graze or something. Oh, it'll be interesting to see now what it looks Let's like. Let's go and have a look, there. yeah. Okay. Safe. Unfortunately, due to how violent the second shot was, we couldn't really see where that first shot went. So, yeah. I would love to see when that first one was now. Yeah, Thanks, Ik heb een korte weg van jou. Ik stap achter die boom in. Dus ben ik aan het kamp te lezen. En daarop weg. Of 50. Of 50. Ja, wat goed voor die. Hoe net aan het schok? Nee, ik zeg echt. Ik schok? Ja, zit er. Another one's called me? Oh, a little bit back of it. That was all night, awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What the fuck is going on in there? 
Rest, dan geet baie tyd, hy staan doodstil. Hy tel een speed wobble op, ek denk hy gaan drap hoor. Hy gaan drap. Ja, los om skak, hy is... Kop het nou gesak. Verlaag en nie. Ja, lee hy skak. Do you want to shoot him again, Scott? I think it's unnecessary. Yeah, let's just watch him for two or three minutes, guys. I think the shot might have been a little bit high. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit back. Just slightly caught between two or something. The blood has got Scott. You check his head there, Scott. Yeah, yeah. You want to cup him in the head? I can try. This and he can't help fly stuck and skid on, eh? Yeah, that's why his head's in line with his face. Now, if it comes across the left, No. No, 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 just wait. His head's still in line. If it comes across to our, his right, our okay. left, then, then it's not in line with its body at least. But it's fine, let's just watch him. Is it? He's standing up again. Okay, did I come as you can't see it? Cop squid. Yeah. Good shot, Scotty. This elk shot an amazing blessed buck at 440 meters. It's always amazing to, to feel how much further that feels when you actually walk the distance to get to the animal. So much fun to come hunting with my friends um, and also being my business partner. It's it's super cool for us to get to spend some time outside of our business dealings with each other. He's got beautiful color on him, eh? Skulk also shot an incredible shot as we were sort of driving to the next portion of the farm where Warthog came speeding across the road and he flipped and drilled it, which was a phenomenal shot, which was really, really cool. Um, what was even cooler about that was to see how the hunting dogs were on its trail. So obviously when you're shooting something that's running full tilt at an unknown distance, you kind of just want to put a round on target. And uh, the hunting dogs tracked it down and uh, we were on it. In, in seconds and it was it was quite a marathon little or not a marathon it was like a sprint yes Stop, stop, stop. Yeah. Come. You're done. Yeah. You're done. Yo. Yeah, it's yeah. a running shot, Skulky. Well done. Hard work. <laughs> 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 okay, there you go. There you go. Feel it. Leave it. Leave it. Stay. Through the valley, um, and we were able to get on it, and yeah. So we're excited to make some salamis with that. I'm really excited because I've never. I've never made those. Um, my brother's also here, so if you guys see all the cinematic footage, uh, kudos to him. Um, I'm sometimes a little bit anal when it comes to to videoing stuff because um, I'm so, I've been doing it for so long. So uh, it'll be very interesting to see what the sort of final product looks like. Uh, earlier this morning, I the farmers also wanted an ostrich to feed some of the farm workers because usually there'd be quite a lot of meat from the international hunters that come and hunt here at Frontier Safaris. Um, but due to COVID, there's been none of that. So we're also shooting some animals to just provide meat for the guys on the farm and, and the employees of, of the facility. The one on the bottom right, Peter. Ready? Go for it. Yeah.
Well done. Ik heb mijn schat hier Amerikaanse gauw wat je opgeteld hebt. Ja? Wat had je al gekregen? Uh, Manny Bos gekregen. Woe! Woe! Ik heb de wind van de west coming from the west and late afternoon the best wat come up. We like to sit up on the top of the ridge, so we just want to walk slowly into the wind and see what we can come across. We haven't spotted any yet, but we'll just walk slowly and see what we can find. Awesome. Nature TV with Scott Birch. Towards the latter half of the day, uh, I got on some blessbrook. Yeah. We're gonna walk down to the trees, yeah, and we'll see maybe there's some more here below. Okay. Otherwise, we're gonna have to go off the one side, walk around, and okay. come up on top of the side. And uh, we couldn't really get it on, onto a nice shooting position, so I shot off Skulk's tripod. Straight down, straight down. Good shot, bikes. Not another one there, Peter, just watching. I shot the first one and he dropped straight in his tracks. He was at about 250. And then another one, due to us shooting suppressed, he was standing still and we decided we were going to shoot him too. Now, unfortunately, due to where he was standing, it looked like he was standing 100% parallel to the one next to it, but he wasn't. He was shooting, he was standing a little bit further. Um, so wind and everything was absolutely perfect, but the shot landed a little bit low and... Uh, nice. Nice. Yeah, hit him. Yeah. 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 Greedy. Oh. We'll get in there. Yeah, we'll. 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 Yeah, we'll.
Beautiful. Thanks, bro. Bang. That was a good yeah, shot. Bang. That made up for the... Mooi bro. The we were able to done. get on him pretty quickly and finish that job too. So really cool not to have any wounded animals, obviously. Um, fortunately, I think my confidence wise, it's amazing how that does affect you when you're hunting. So tomorrow, I'm just going to take it super easy, um, take easy shots and uh, yeah. Excited for another day of hunting. Um... Today wasn't my best day of hunting, it certainly beats a day at the office. So that's pretty cool. I'll see you guys in the morning.